Hello and welcome back to another one of my P.O. Box opening videos and I've got tons of stuff. I might not get it all open. I might put the Pop Joy stuff for another day. Let's see what I've got though. Indeed, yo. Yep, I was just thinking I've got some Pop Joy stuff on the way in the post so I might just keep the Pop Joy stuff for another video. I've still got enough left for this video. I've got one, two here, a big one from Westminster, and this one I had to sneak open because I wasn't sure what it was. I know what's inside now, but let's have a wee peek in a minute. Firstly, let's do the letters. That's a Westminster jobby, I think. Into the postcode, and these two here. Christmassy stamp. So it's from Royal Royal Mill Northwest Midlands. Well, let's have a wee peek. Don't know if there's any evidence, so I better be careful. I'll do that off camera. Definitely keep definitely keep that stamp. I'm getting really bad with stamps now. I've just got a big big tin of stamps that I'm really not doing anything with. But here we go. Carry a wee bit of thing. Now oh, here we go. Slip stamps. Hi, Kelly C. I've been watching your videos for a couple of years now, and I think you might have mentioned that you like cats and stamps. Oh, I do. If I'm correct, you might like these. P.S. Keep up the good content and carry on with the hunts. Yours, Rich Swift. Ah, right, Rich. Yes. Rich messaged me wondering where this had gone. He said he'd sent it a couple of months ago, and this is it just arriving now by the looks of things. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, at least it, at least we know it's safe. At least it's not lost in the post. But look, oh, cats and stamps. Look at that. Oh, wow. Callie will get jealous. Oh, she doesn't look impressed. Oh, do you like cats? Callie. Cats? Do you like cats? No? Okay. You're the only cat that's existing. Okay, that's right. <laughs> look at that cutie. Oh, wow. So fluffy. I wouldn't want that fluff on my, on my sofa. <laughs> oh, look at that. Melting. That's so awesome. Oh, look at this. Kittens. Oh, don't get me emotional. There you go. Look at that one. Big blue eyes. Beautiful cats. Oh, look at these. So beautiful. Thanks so much, Rich. I'm glad they turned up. I was worried, like, because when you did message me, I was like, I haven't seen them. I checked, like, the last 10 P.O. Box videos in case I just had a brain freeze. But no, no, here they are. They've turned up. Panic station's over, buddy. I'll give Rich a wee message after. I record this just to make just to let them know they're here. But thanks so much for those. That's so kind. What a fantastic start. I'm glad that's sorted. Like I say, nothing worse than one of somebody, you know, do not ever feel obliged to send me anything in the post. The PO box was set up for me for security reasons, so nobody would like find out where I stayed or whatever, but um to keep my family safe and all that lot. But the happy byproduct is like you know if people that watch my channel decide we can send stuff in you don't have to don't feel obliged but it's really lovely when you do but especially when i hear how it helped you know anything i've done or influence people to collect coins stamps postcards whatever you whatever you like it's nice to hear that you know it's good to let's get some feedback now i have here this I had one of these stamps last week, didn't I? Australia. I'm just going to open this up carefully. It's got an address on the back, so I'm being very careful, and I can see who it's from. Mr. Simon from Australia. He talks to us all on Discord, voice chat. We play some games with us. We play a wee bit of code names, Gartic Phone, and stuff like that. And he mentioned he was sending me some Australian coins. The one I got for the pack for the, the Commonwealth Games, he they get them in circulation, and he managed to get 
the A, the U, and the S all in circulation. That's fantastic. So look, Commonwealth Games, A. And there's uh, late Queen Elizabeth II. It's great that they've got some color on their coins, you know? Nice to see that. There we are, there's the U. Beautiful. And there's the S. I've got a return address for Simon now, so I'm going to send him a couple of wee hangs in return. That's kind of you. You've got your blankety blank checkbook and pen. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> now, this one here. Evidence. <laughs> That's on the floor already. Here we go. Looks like I've got more wildlife. Nice. I thought they'd stopped this and went on to flowers, but it looks like they're, they're continuing the wildlife series. Let's have a look at this one. I'll have to pop them in the folder, but what I'm going to do is I usually take these out card by card and let's have a look. Here we have the water shrew. Look at that. Now it looks a lot nicer this one. They've, they've really pulled their finger out and got things fixed with this. The first batch of the first series was a lot to be desired. There's a couple of little marks on there, but it's like the flowers. The flowers, big improvement. Yeah, big improvement. Well done, Westminster and whoever is minting these. We've got the water vole. That little thing, little whiskers. That's cute. <laughs> there we go. So I, I, it's a series I've been enjoying. I stuck with it. I know I was unhappy with the first couple of batches. Especially batch two, I think, was really bad. There's the otter. It's lovely. There's an otter in the River Tay just now. Family of them somewhere just a wee bit up north. So we about ski with this one, the common toad. Very nice. Hey hey. Next one. The great crested mute. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. A weird wee animal, but cute nevertheless. Wouldn't want one at home though. No, I'll stick with a cat. And this one here, common frog. Fantastic. So yeah, they've really sorted out the problems with the coins for these 10p series. Please, with that, I did have a video way back in the day. Do not buy these coins. I've, I'm starting to change my mind on that. But yeah, that, it was more to highlight the batch. That was really bad. Batch one, you, give, you kind of give him a bit of leeway because it's the first, you know, things might get better. The second batch. I kept them. I did replace. I know I sent them back, got them replaced, and they were just as bad. Uh, but I've stuck with the series, and they have got better. I'll give them that. They do listen, so I'll pop that into the thing at the end of the episode. Here you have one for the stamp fans. Now I bought a few first day covers in a in a job lot batch. I don't think there's many in here. Maybe. Get rid of the box. Nice new box for Callie. She'll like this. Maybe get rid of the polythene. I'm, I'm not keen on giving her the polythene bits, you know. But the rest she can have. Hey, what is a wee box for you, wee bit? <laughs> oh, more than 10. Okay. What have we got here? Art and craft. Look at that. First day issue in Great Britain. Oh, all right. Edinburgh. There's a few bits around Edinburgh. <laughs> Look at that. That is Millennium First Day cover. 
part of a set, I think. First you cover, what's on this? Scrubbed out all the names on there. Which, look at them stamps, though. These look like movies, horror movies, or... Oh, is that the thing from British Pathé? With the chap that talks like Christopher Collects? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. That's just a standard Lamel Talent House. It's just got a standard stamp on it. It's very plain, that one, isn't it? Probably more for that that they're doing it with the coat of arms. What's this one? A Christian's Tale. Looks like little stories. Are they children's drawings? Very nice. Probably tell me something about these. Tree and leaf. Oh, I've seen the sunflower one before. That is lovely. I like that one. I do like that one. Stone and soil. There we go. Very fancy. Scotland. That's just what Scotland looks like. That's it. There's nothing here. I think my house is just beyond that hill. <laughs> well, that's a very dark stamp, but it's a tartan. I don't know which tartan it is. Yeah. Some more definitive stamps. New definitive stamps. So it's a part of a pack when it came out that year. There you are. Must have been when that was first class or something, or which is first? I wonder which one's the first. No idea. Old school stamps. 1959. Is that really what date is that? 2003. Oh, I was waiting to say that can't be. That's 2003. That's fine. Water and Coast. More of these themed millennium ones, I think. Didn't cost me much. It was just a wee job lot. And I thought, oh, why not? Why not? really nice life of earth this one wales that's wales the raw mint's just round the corner from that rock and so the premier inn's right next to it there you are that's where we all go a couple of times a year when we can there we go there's your your that's the feathers is it i kind of mind what it is so i think that was on a two pence piece wasn't it prince of wales this one European Football Championship. Now it's got a lot of Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, England. Fancy. I like that. And in the middle, football. Some fella. We all know who that is, don't we? I'm pretty sure. I cannot read that. <laughs> but I recognise him. I do recognise him. Very nice. Not George Best, no, it's not George Best. Uh, some Northern Ireland ones. With the Ulster hand. That intro when I do my videos with the flags, it was so, so impossible to find that flag with the hand that was waving without finding, you know, because a lot of these videos were removed for bad reasons, you know, so. Uh, I managed to find one that was like 720p and I managed to get that. That's pretty mad with that 3D effect. The stamp show. Hmm. What's this one? Roll clean the first day cover. What's that say? Space from above and beyond. Oh. Very nice. The small and the large. That what is that wrong first it was special by design. That's nice. Oh look, there's more of these ones. Fire and light. That's pretty cool with the Britain. That'll be Britain in a few weeks when the economy's crashed. <laughs> so, there we go. Lightning. I do like these. I do like that series. I might see it, look into it and see if I can find more. Scotland. I've heard of that place. 
more Northern Ireland. Two of them stuck together here. The Ulster Hand and more Northern Ireland stamps. You don't see them anymore, do you? England. There we go. Three Lions. Millennium Timekeeper. That's pretty cool. Parts of the earth all over it. That's really nice. I like that. Oh! 20th Century Women of Achievement Portraits of Genius. Dorothy Hodgkin, Margot Fontaine, Elizabeth Frank. I can't read that last one. Who's that? Daphne du Maurier. Yes, I've heard of her. And oh, what's that? Maria Cartman. Wow. That's pretty cool. Nice wee series, that. Never knew that existed. Yeah, it looks, that's got to be RAF, isn't it? Breaking barriers. Look at that, brilliant. Citrus Altius. Higher, swifter, higher, stronger. Olympus and Paralympics, 1996. There we are. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Super Ted. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's Muffin the Mule. Sooty with the original Corbett. Thingy Corbett's dad. I can never remember. Is it Harry Corbett? That was in my generation. There was the one before him. That's his father. Is that, uh, is that Stingray or Joe 90? I think that's Mick Lynch, isn't it? Yeah. From the RMT, that's <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm Mr. Ron, probably. What's that one? Is that the Clangers and Danger Mouse? I remember Danger Mouse too. It's this one that was in the middle. Is it Joe 90 or is it Stingray or is it it's not Thunderbirds? Answers on a postcard and the Queen Mother, lots of Scottish bits and pieces. As we know, she was from Glams near Brecon. That's when she was 100. What's this one? Artist's Tale. Oh, very fancy. That's nice. I like the book. And it looks like the last one. Another Breaking Barriers one. That was more than expected. I thought it was just getting like 10 of them. But look, I think I've got like 20. <laughs> or maybe, maybe more. But anyway, let's have a wee recap and see what we all got in today's video. And welcome back. Yes, so here we have a week recap. We've got the 20 first day covers or so. I can't remember if it's 20 or not, but that was a bargain. I think I paid like five pounds for all of them. We've got the stamp off of uh, the, the mail, <laughs> Rich Swift's mail. We've got all the cat stamps that Rich and the nice letter that he wrote. We've got Simon, Simon from Voice Chat or from Australia, sending us the Oz. $2 coins. I can never get over the fact that $2 coins are smaller than the $1 coin. It's completely opposite to here. And we've also got the wildlife set, another one new for this year. I thought the series had finished. A lot of people think a series is finished, but it looks like they're continuing it on along with the flowers. So yes, um, I'll keep the Pop Joy stuff for the next video because I've got more Pop Joy stuff coming in the post. So yes. If you found any of these in your uh, got any of these in your posts, let me know. If you know anything about the first day covers that I just waffled on about and don't know much about, educate me, please do. Uh, thanks again to everyone who sent stuff in. And I'm off. If you're having a hug, have a happy one. Don't forget, check your change, chow now, cheeky bye, choo choo the new. Look, she's fast asleep. She's bored of stamps as well. <laughs> bye.